All right, guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I have got a very serious topic to go over with you guys because there's a, a serious misconception over whose responsibility it is when equipment has expired PMs. You see, it's not ours. And I'm going to get to that. I'll tell you why. We have to start back at who owns the equipment. Biomed does not own the equipment. We don't. There's nothing about it. We might manage the property book, but we don't own the equipment. And we don't treat the patient. Okay? We just maintain the equipment, and yes, we do have quotas and yada, yada, yada. But at the end of the day, we do not own the equipment, and we are not the ones that are attaching that equipment to patients. Whoever attaches equipment to the patient has the responsibility to make sure that that equipment is current on its calibration and to make sure that it's serviceable. Anything can happen to that equipment from the moment it, it leaves the biomed shop, let's say maybe a year ago, to even two hours ago. Anything could happen. It's the user's responsibility to make sure that before that equipment gets used on a patient that it is serviceable, okay? So here's the thing. Users are the ones that get in trouble if they use an expired calibration piece of medical equipment on a patient, not biomed. So here's the thing, is that if we are not the ones that get in trouble for that, why is it that the users always try and make it seem like it's our problem? Yes, we do have quotas, and yes, we are here as a team to make this work, but in the end of the day, if the users don't make the equipment readily available for us to get our vendors in, if the users don't want to grant you access to the certain operating rooms because they're high tempo rooms like trauma rooms or something, if it's a cath lab and you can't get your vendor in to you know, work on the x-ray or something, well, guess what? It's not your responsibility. Not anymore. You do your due diligence, you document it, and then after that, if the users don't, want to re relinquish their equipment for proper calibration. Some devices you have to ship out ever so many hours or whatever. You have to ship it back to the manufacturer and it could be gone for months. I'm thinking of the McKay units, the, uh, the cardio helps those units every, every once in a while you have to refresh them. You have to ship them out. That's an $80,000 unit. And it's going to be gone for a couple months, but you have to do it. The thing is, is it's not our responsibility if they don't want to give up their only cardio help. And not to hit on that company too bad because they actually do provide like loaners and stuff. So it's not that bad. But I mean, in the end of the day, if a infusion pump or something like that gets used on a patient and it has an expired calibration tag readily available right on the front, well, then it becomes the user's responsibility to not use that on a patient. And of course, they almost always will. They almost always will. It's going to happen. But they always, especially like right now, I'm, I'm almost going through a joint commission inspection probably within the next week or two. All this medical equipment is being brought down to Biomed. And they make it sound like it's our problem to get it absolutely all done right now well here's the funny thing is when we have equipment that is expired or it's ready for its pm we usually give certain users like uh, coordinators or directors or whatever we'll give them a list of equipment that we were unable to locate and very often especially at large facilities like mine they will just say oh well we got no time to go and search for this stuff it happens. It happens all the time, guys. So what I'm saying is at the end of the day, it's not Biomed's responsibility to make sure that that equipment is all completely calibrated. We will do our absolute best, but at the end of the day, if the users, it's their equipment, and if they want it calibrated, they should notify Biomed or bring it down to Biomed as soon as they notice it. Now, we always do our part. We go out and we search for stuff. We try and work with users. We, we sometimes will coordinate loaners. We do all sorts of stuff. But at the end of the day, it's not our responsibility to make sure that the device that's being used on a patient 
is calibrated. It's the users. And I couldn't say that enough times because people always argue that it's not us. Yes, we have quotas and yes, we are here to maintain the maintenance plan. But at the end of the day, there's always going to be equipment that falls through the cracks somehow, somewhere. And we have to go and work together to try and get this stuff remedied. That's all there is to it. It's I and I just had this argument with somebody in the last day. It's it's not us. And because you didn't want to give up that equipment, you know, for the last month or so that we've been telling you, hey, we need this device. And now that you're about to get inspected, you want us to go and hassle the vendor who we've been telling, you know, hey, they don't want to give it up. They don't want to give it up. You want us to go and hassle this person who has responsibility all around the state to come here for you for this one device because you didn't want to give it up earlier or you didn't want to go searching for it to help us out. Well, guys, it's it's a very tricky situation, but uh, at the end of the day, it is what it is. And whoever uses a piece of equipment on a patient is ultimately responsible for that device. Like I said, anything could happen to that device from the moment it left Biomed. I mean, I hear that all the time. Biomed just had this like a month ago. There's lots of stuff that could happen in a month, guys. A lot of stuff. I mean, hell, how many times has somebody opened a door with something and here a vendor just serviced it two hours ago? Now they're all of a sudden they're like, hey, it's not working correctly. And then come to find out like it's got cracked plastics because they opened a door with it. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to make this short video just to clear this up for you guys. That yes, we do calibrate equipment and everything, but in the end... It's not me that's going to get sued if that device is not calibrated. Furthermore, if a doctor ever gets mad at you because the device is not calibrated, all you can do is show your history of the times that you've been asking for certain devices or asking for assistance to try and get this stuff calibrated and work through your director or your biomed manager to get this resolved. Don't contact the, the customer uh, directly. Okay, make sure that your manager's involved at that point because you need somebody that is a disinterested party to kind of smooth things over whenever there's a conflict. I've, I've said it before, guys, with the user on anything. Make sure that your manager, your supervisor, your director, make sure whoever it is that's over you, make sure that they know so that they're not blindsided when this really does come to a head. So here I am. I'm going into a, a joint commission inspection. My whole way down in the basement is completely lined with equipment, and they want it now. They want it now. It's like, uh, guys, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you guys dumping like a hundred items in the hallway? You know, this this is stuff that we've been asking about for a while. What's going on? So it does happen, guys. But uh, we're a team, and we're gonna we're gonna do whatever we can to make it happen. But uh, it's not us that's going to get legally held responsible if that patient gets affected by a piece of equipment that's out of calibration. That's all there is to it. All right. Document your work orders, guys, and make sure you do your due diligence on your side so that you are not going to be the problem when this does happen because it's going to happen. All right. So do your part. Document everything. If you can't find something or if you're not getting cooperation from a, from a vendor or user or whatever, document it okay because when it happens and it will you're going to have something to back you up so that maybe you have some sort of process improvement going forward okay all right y'all have a very good weekend and thanks for watching